Hello you lovely lot, it's a gorgeous sunny day here in London and I hope the sun is still shining when you finally get to watch this video. Um, I want to show you a really pretty way to wear kind of bronze summery skin with a lovely juxtaposition of matte eyes and lips. It kind of gives it a very contemporary look and it's a look that I like to wear. Um, I'm losing the essence of speed beauty because they're all meant to be like one minute films and quick sort of editorial tips and they keep getting longer and longer. So just for this, um, I've started my base and my brows and my lashes and I don't want to be repetitive and, you know, keep talking about the same thing all the time. I want to give you new top tips. So I'm just going to be using my hourglass brush and a little bit of Jalique Rose Powder just over the T-zone area here and where I'm going to apply my powder bronzer. When you apply a powder bronzer to your skin and it's slightly damp, it can instantly make your skin look grubby and a bit dirty. It doesn't go on in a smooth way. So it doesn't have to be heavy, as you can see from this one, it just has to be light, um, but it just allows a much more soft finish to your bronzer, which is essential really. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to use um, this bronzer. It's got a slight radiance to it. And I'm going to use this um, with my nice big fat end of my hourglass brush. Now this bronzer is super light, but just warm enough. I've always got a paler neck, so I love the way this goes on. It's by It Cosmetics. Now you have to be cautious with it. You don't want to go too mad. Like especially I don't really like to have it on the front of my forehead, but it gives a nice little glow um, around the collarbone here and just makes your skin kind of have that soft denier finish to it. Because I want this to be light, I'm going to carry on using the nice chunky side. I'm just going to wash that through my cheekbones. And then the key thing is to take it around the perimeter of your hairline so that it doesn't look like too stripy. Um, my cheekbones are quite prominent, so I have to be cautious not to kind of go with that sort of 80s flow of blush. I need to make sure that I'm just sort of warming up the skin very, very lightly. So that gives a lovely sort of soft dimension to my skin. Yes, I think that's enough, but what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit, put a tip on my nose. That's just where the sun naturally kind of catches your face and again it's nice to sort of break it up. Right, I'm going to flip the brush around and use the smaller side and I'm going to use this very beautiful shade by Delilah. This is light medium and it's a matte bronzer. So if I'm using bronzer to kind of shape my face I will always go matte and this is a really really soft shade. So I'm going to go in with a smaller one because I'm using a smaller area and I'm just going to hit that off my cheekbone there so I get a nice little bit of warmth coming through and that helps to kind of make the whites around my eyes brighter so I look less tired. But just using the point of the tapered brush, just in there at the cheekbones there, but just kind of keeping it soft. Lovely. I might go in actually just with a little bit on my chin with the bigger one, turning it around. Big brush always gives you a nice soft finish. So if you want to be cautious or you're not sure, then just go in with a bigger brush. Now, the wonderful thing about having a nice bronze skin is it creates a really beautiful light around the T-zone of your face and that kind of adds dimension to your face, makes you look less tired, brings out your cheekbones, all of the above. So I'll remember to take it off my mole. Sometimes I use a little cotton bud with some micellar water just to take that off. Lovely. Okay, so I've done my brows and my lashes um, and I'm going to go in with um, one of my favourite palettes um, and this is what I use at work. Um, it's by Violet Voss and all these colours are mattes and there are beautiful cool colours and warm colours. Now I use this at work because I'm trying to condense my kits that I don't use and come to work with like 50 kilos, which I pretty much do every day, of various palettes, isn't it? Because I'm a makeup addict, slightly obsessive. Um, so I love this palette because when I'm being good, I can condense my products. I'm going to be using this shade um, called Mad Love and these colours go on really, really nicely. So I'm going to be using a MAC flat brush. Now again, just smooth out any creases where the oil is absorbed and I want you just to focus this one shade just straight over the lid. So really kind of push 
the product in and again really focusing towards the lashes. Now I can go in again with my mascara, but really kind of pushing that eye back gives you a lovely contrast. Now if you were to use like a goldy eye or something metallic, I just think it would just end up looking a bit too much and a bit too sparkly. It's nice to have the different textures on your face, all being, you know, quite soft and nude, but it all adds just a little bit of softness and elegance to it when it's slightly different texture, in my opinion. So pushing that on, a couple of layers, and then I'll blend it through. Again, when you look at your eyeshadow, you always need to make sure that the eyeshadow just comes above your eyes. So if you're looking directly at someone, it needs to come just above to make sure that you don't close your eye. Because if you just condense the colour to your lid, it kind of makes this area of your eye a little bit heavier. So when you've applied it, just look straight down your mirror um, and make sure that you can see it just above. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend this through with my Kitco. Ooh, what's that? I'm smudge. So really, really soft, but really, really clean. Um, okay, now I love these Scandal Eye Pencils by Rimmel, and this is called Nude, and just to kind of reaffirm and just make my eyes look bigger and brighter when it's kind of very simple and minimal, is I'm going to use this in my waterline. I'll just do the one side to show you first, because um, it's such a great trick. And look at the size of my eyes, it really makes a big difference, and it's so soft. They're really, really soft. Now it might look a bit woohoo at first. You might put it on and go, oh, I don't like it. Honestly, once you've blinked sort of about 20 times, it just softens slightly. So probably by the end of this makeup, it will kind of, you know, morph more naturally into my features. So as you know, I love a matte liquid lipstick. Um, here's Guerlain and it's um, M06. I'll put the details all below. I've just got some lip balm on, straight over the lip balm, stretch your lips. Oh, I love this colour. Some browns can look really muddy. But this never lets me down. Mmm, gorgeous. This lipstick gives you a little bit of playtime before it sets. I just love that shade. Do you know what? I'm going to change something. I was going to keep it top heavy, but because I've put the white eyeliner in, I really feel that I need a few delicate lashes underneath for it to all just kind of finish um, and put in place. So I'm just going to use the tip of my Max Factor one. Yeah, much better, right? Great. Now I always mm, remove the lipstick from my teeth. So I always just take my ring finger and just soften the edge of my top line because that's where my lips are slightly starting to feather. So I feel more confident. I don't have a build up of, of color and, and pigment there. So there we go. That's the look. The mattes against the glossy skin, the two types of bronzer, the glowy one, the matte one, the different size of brushes. Again, it's all the little things. I hope that's given you a few tips. I hope that's inspired you. It's really simple, but it's really modern. And I very much look forward to seeing what you think down below. Have a gorgeous summer. See you soon.